Later this year, macOS Sequoia comes out, and that is the next version of macOS, which Apple previewed at WWDC. So let's talk about the quality of life improvements that are being brought to the Macs later this year. Now, the first obvious big one is Apple's intelligence. Now, if you have an M1 Mac or later, so essentially an Apple Silicon Mac, you're going to get Apple intelligence. It appears that nothing is being held back from these Macs. Just like with the iPad, if you have M1 or later, you're getting the features but the only features they're holding back on is with the iPhones as you need a 15 Pro or Pro Max or later. Now, these Apple intelligence upgrades are gonna be a big quality of life improvement to the Mac as it's essentially just being able to create images for you, have a smarter Siri, which we all know is very well needed, and also the ability to kind of write and rewrite your emails proofread them and all of that. And of course, all of this is done on device and you will be notified with a little pop-up saying, this is, it requires ChatGPT, do you want to continue? And you can decline it if you want to keep your data on your device, which I just think is so cool. Now, one of the big updates for the Mac is going to be using your iPhone on your Mac. So iPhone mirroring is finally here, and I do know they kind of sure locked this from some apps, as I had an app years ago on my Mac that allowed me to essentially use my iPhone from my Mac, or at least to see my iPhone screen, but Apple, with iPhone mirroring, it is changing the game, as you'll have the ability to control your iPhone, type on it. Camera and microphone, I don't believe, are working right now through your Mac, and if you try to use them, they are disabled. And I believe this is how it's going to be going forward, just from a security aspect, which personally, I think that is fine. And also, I believe it would be a, probably more of a battery drain to kind of take your iPhone and then put in the Mac camera and then kind of like piecemealing it. So I definitely think that is going to be... Something that a lot of users may be upset about, but being able to do essentially everything on my iPhone from my Mac, I know is just going to be a game changer, as you'll have the ability to view all your notifications right in your notification center, even if your iPhone isn't connected, just if it's nearby, which is just so nice, because you'll finally be able to see if your Apple Watch is charged, if you hit your activity rings, and all of that straight from your Mac. And I also feel this is opening a door to kind of potentially having Apple bring other devices to the Mac or even the um, Vision Pro, as right now you can't interact with your iPhone and wear the Vision Pro. I think this is kind of the first step to seeing your iPhone brought to Vision Pro and more other devices, even maybe the iPad later on, which is just going to be so cool and so nice to have. Now, coming later this year, you'll also be able to drag and drop files from your iPhone to your Mac, and when you're using your iPhone, don't worry, your screen will stay off, so you, no one will be able to see that you're interacting with it. There will be a little notification on your lock screen that'll just say, iPhone mirroring, and let you know that someone's connected, that way if it isn't you, you can quickly disable it. Now, Apple is also bringing window tiling to Mac. Now, personally, I have been a Magnet user for I don't even know how long, and with Magnet, all I had to do was drag an application up to the top left or right, and it would snap that application, full screen it, or half screen it, and it has just been so great to have. And seeing that Apple is doing this natively is just going to be so nice, and I'll probably no longer need Magnet, but seeing that it's finally here is definitely a quality of life feature as you can also use the keyboard shortcuts to essentially organize it now we also have presenter preview so when you're in a video call you'll be able to see everything that you're going to display before you display it just to make sure that you're displaying exactly what you want to there's also the ability to replace your background so if you don't want everyone to see what's on behind you you can essentially put yourself in mac os high sierra which i did find a little weird and a bunch of other different environments which is just going to be so nice to have now safari also got a bunch of improvements and this is going to be across the board so ios and ipad os and even Vision Pro, which is just so cool that Apple is kind of bringing all these features to everywhere. So on Safari, you'll now have the ability to highlight a site. So this will essentially pull the relevant information from a site and be like, this is what you want to know. Here's the contact information, the address, and an email address, for example. There's also going to be a smarter reader with more control with web video, as you'll finally have the ability to kind of full screen it and take over the full Safari window if it's essentially a web page where the video is on the left and a bunch of text is there and you just want to focus on that video. There's also a passwords app which is coming to all your devices. Even Windows, yes you heard that right, it is being brought to Windows. So there will be a passwords app that'll work from your iPhone to your Mac to your iPad to your Windows computer, your Vision Pro, and allow you to access all your passwords and credentials in one place and it is just going to be such a nice feature to have. Now, gaming was also updated on the Mac, as you're just going to have new and upcoming games that take full advantage of the Apple Silicon and Metal 3, but personally, 
I don't game on a Mac, so for me this isn't a big change. Now we also got all of the iOS 18 message features, so the ability to send text with all effects and have the messages expand and pop and essentially be a lot more interaction so you can bold italics underline strike through and add playful animations or let it suggest what you might want you can also tap back with any emoji and schedule a message to send later maps got a new topographical view which allows for you to see detailed trail networks and essentially kind of be like if i'm going on this hike here's everything you can see everything you need which is just so nice to have you can also save hikes for offline access, so if you want to work on them maybe on the plane or something on a vacation, you have the ability to save it down in your Mac and even create your own routes if you know a different way or maybe two trails kind of go together and you may follow on one and then split off to maybe the other one, you now have the option to set your own custom track. Now Notes is getting a lot smarter with Math Notes, the ability to essentially do math right in line in Notes, which as a student I know this feature is going to be so useful as I can just say, you know, x equals 3, y equals 4, and then solve for whatever that may be, or even if you're just budgeting with your friends. You also have live audio transcription, so if you're recording an audio session, it'll now be able to record that and transcribe it in real time for you, which is just so nice to have, as I wish I could tell you the amount of times I probably have recorded something and would have liked to have that playback, but you always had to go to a third-party app and kind of search for it. Now, you also get collapsible sections, so this is essentially if you have a heading, you can now collapse it, so you don't have to have these 30 page long notes if you have everything sorted under headings like I know personally that's going to be game changing because I wish I could tell you the amount of time I've had notes continue and continue and continue when everything really could have been, been thrown in a header. Now we also get the ability to highlight text which the fact that this wasn't here by default you kind of had to go digging for it and then change the text color and then you had to fiddle with it to change it back. Now it's here you can just highlight it by essentially selecting, highlight, and move about your day. You don't have to dig around for it like you did in the past. We also get that AirPods integration with the ability to shake your head for if you want to decline or shake your head yes. That way you don't have to interact with Siri when you're using AirPods, as well as that voice isolation, which is going to make it sound so much better and kind of drown out that loud background noise so you don't hear it when the other person doesn't hear it. And that's only the surface. There's a bunch of other updates, like the ability to have the updated calculator with math notes built in and the calendar with reminders and just so much more but this is going to be such a big update to the mac even though it doesn't seem like that and it is compatible with mac mini 2018 macbook pro 2018 and later mac pro 2019 and later mac studio 2022 and later macbook air 2020 and later imac pro from 2017 and later and imac from 2019 and later and I gotta say, I'm really excited for these updates, but let me know what your thoughts are with a comment down below. And while you're down there, if you want to hit like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. And I want you to remember that today's a good day to make a great day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.